Hello again, Jerry. Old guys review. So, I was going to make a video on the heavy haul because I've got an excellent backyard track going right now. But this will turn into a mashup video because I had still in the process of finishing it up I built a trailer for it I wanted a big trailer so just for the scale I put my night hauler on it I haven't done the wood planks yet I haven't finished the ramps there's gonna be ramps to drive up to the second level but being that this is a heavy haul truck I wanted a trailer that was worthy of a heavy haul so I took her out for a spin just to see how good it would be do which with the truck and the trailer did excellent except for my fancy metal fifth wheel that comes on the heavy haul truck which has a realistic fifth wheel release lever and the guts I was almost done started to come up to the house and the trailer just came off so I believe it's on this side is where it goes in so being that it's RC four wheel drive slash JD JS models I forget it's got microscopic nuts and bolts that I'm gonna have to remove to take off the internals a little more complicated than Tamiya set up but all metal so I have to get inside and figure out what's come undone so needless to say, that driving video will not happen today. So, I've been a little slack in working on the trailer. And actually, the weather's been so nice. I took out my uh, new rock crawler. Had to get it this winter. It is the Element Sendero. And being that I'm old and a nerd, this truck to me looked like a Dodge. Looked like an old 80s Dodge pickup. So I went with a horrible lime green on gray paint job. And then I did a little detailing so it looks dirty all the time. But being that I've never been competition orientated I don't know what half the guys talk about when I watch some of these crawling videos and whatnot but I took this truck out to an area that I used to go to years ago which normally would put in Traxxas Emax to the test it's basically a small mountain and we took, I took this out with one of my new buddies from our crawling group. Probably about a four mile round trip. Um, this truck, there's constant scrutiny. To the, they don't like this, they don't like that. Um, the bumpers were big. So I took the advice and removed the rear bumper. Put an RC four wheel drive, repurposed one. So it had excellent approach angles. Now the front bumper, which is still the stock one, which is pretty big, I'm gonna zoom right into just a little bit. It's actually not the stock bumper. I, I correct myself. This is an energy, energy, I forget what they're called. It had a slighter, has a slighter approach angle. 
So it did very well. Got my Reefs RC winch in there. I've never used the winch before. I had to give it a go. Works pretty good. Um, a lot of complaints on the way the truck handles in, in stock form. I'm not big on upgrading things unless they're broken. So the only thing I noticed, and it was its first big run, was these tires. They had no side bite at all. But it may be, it was just its first run, it's still damp. They got full of mud real quick. But other than that, I just did a few little little mods, not necessarily anything performance orientated, but this little truck did excellent. And it ended up toward the end rolling down a substantial incline. And these were a complaint that these broke, cracked a lot. I have a little bit of cracking right here. I cracked, the body cracked right here where the roll cage is on it. But other than that, a little homemade axial roll cage in horrible lime green. Got some little body scuffs here. 3M. Excellent material. Didn't it took the abuse very well. There's some body there's some body scratches on the windows. But other than that, excellent little drive. But since I was gonna show a driving video of some sort, we're gonna take the old RC four-wheel drive overland slash Zetros out for a little spin. I got some good mud going in the backyard. So let's go outside and take that for a spin. And here we are outside. So, so far this truck has not let me down in any way, shape, or form, unlike the RC four-wheel drive heavy haul did. Head around here a few times. Now you can see, like I've said, I like to design my trucks to do crazy things. So this is the tracks from the heavy haul pulling its trailer. And it went right through that. I did have to put the diff locks on. Like right now, I won't put the diff locks on until it needs to or it gets stuck but this is some good soup right here and it goes through it no problem Now this is where things got interesting. I didn't think how bad it was out here. And before we bring the overland through here, this is the kind of mess the heavy haul went through, pulling the trailer. And my legs kept getting caught. So it ended up, I had to do a lot of back and forth. To get her out. So now this is something my buddy was asking me about. 
Well, how well does it crawl? It's not made to be a crawler, but I do have my nice little rock pile here. So, you know, have to give it a try. Because I told him I've only gone over small things with it. I mean, this is a still basically a semi truck. Not necessarily, you know, something that you're going to crawl with. And with the muddy tires, it's not very efficient. It has a lot of items that hang down. But it does have some pretty good articulation. Not something you generally do with your 114 scale truck, but and the rear ends there, the rear end was hung up a little bit. Still the same rock, still hung up. Get her over to the side a little bit. And there you go, all my trails got pretty tore up this winter, so gonna have to do a lot of uh, rebuilding. But if you wanna make one of these an overland vehicle, which is what I'm thinking about for my next one, I think it's a pretty efficient uh, vehicle. Once again, thank you all for subscribing to my channel and for your comments. I just do this to share my experiences with you guys, so if you have any questions, let me know. Once again, it's Jerry. Thanks.